Hey, what is up guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toaster Bros. And today we're gonna to be checking out the top keyboards that are $20 or less on Amazon and are the most popular. Let's talk about that. But first, a word from today's sponsor. This video is brought to you by GVG Mall, an online marketplace to gain access to some really awesome discounted game keys and more specifically, Windows 10 licenses. So if you guys use the link in the description down below, type in code TB20, you'll get 20% off your Windows 10 Pro activation key, and then you just take the key that they give you, you type into the Windows 10 activation, and that's it, you have Windows 10 activated. We use GVG Mall to buy the Windows 10 keys for a lot of computers, like all of these computers, we use GVG Mall, and it's a very helpful resource that you can use today by using the link in the description down below, and also using code TB20 at checkout to save 20%. So let's continue this video. Okay, so as Jackson mentioned, these are keyboards under $20 on Amazon that are marketed as gaming keyboards. And believe it or not, one of them is actually marketed as a mechanical keyboard and it's like 16 bucks. So if you wanna know up-to-date pricing on all these keyboards, if you're actually interested in buying them, links in the description down below. And we'll be sure to keep the price on screen somewhere whenever we go through, but prices are subject to change. And one thing that makes all these keyboards special is that they're all supposed to be gaming keyboards. We don't have any like regular keyboards here. So this is five keyboards under $20, all considered to be gaming. So the first keyboard we're gonna be starting with is the Re Real Internet Idea keyboard. And it is a, well, 10 keyless keyboard that doesn't look absolutely terrible in the picture. It's Windows 10 compatible and it's game compatible apparently, but it's a mixed color LED backlight multimedia gaming keyboard. And it's always really fun to read the backs of these, which this one didn't really have a whole lot on it. So it does have like the basic functions of it back here and like, you know, the power consumption, if anybody's really worried about what the keyboard uh, pulls, it says system requirements and everything. So yeah, you, you got that. But let's just, you know what, let's just open it up. There's really not much to say on the box of this keyboard. Some of these boxes are really funny. I kind of chose a non-crazy one to start off with. So... Yeah, I mean, it's wrapped up like a normal keyboard. I guess that's a good start. There's no uh, weird things in here. But, well, besides this keyboard, that's the only weird thing that I'm finding. And voila, <laughs> here we have a re-keyboard. And so, first thing I noticed, like, as soon as I even touched it, it has, like, a textured plastic, you feel? And, I mean, I'm going to be honest, it's not for, like, 16 to $20. It's not, like, the worst build quality I've ever seen on a cheap keyboard. But let's go ahead and press a switch. Oh yeah, that's that's super membrane. But you know what, they don't try to market this as a mechanical keyboard. Let's go ahead and plug it in. Oh gosh, we got a short cord here. And see how it lights up. Oh my gosh, it is beautiful. So yeah, it, it does light up. Um, now keep in mind, this keyboard actually doesn't have any like feet on the back to make it taller. So it's uh, one height fits all. And I can definitely tell you that this would drive me nuts personally. I need a little bit of uh, lean for my keyboard, but you know, hey, it's quite the design and it has a really large curvature to it. I guess that's to make up for not having the feet on the back. But yeah, here's some, some typing. I guess I'll put my mic a little closer. It's pretty uh, pretty toxic, you know, but hey, it's, it's, it's a keyboard. They don't try to make it anything that it's not. They don't try to say it's mechanical feeling or anything. So as far as advertisement goes, I haven't looked at the actual ad on Amazon, but the box and everything, pretty spot on. I mean, they don't try to make this keyboard anything that's not, so that's that's a good start, but I can definitely tell you it is a cheap keyboard. All right, next up we have the InPet Gaming Keyboard, and don't buy this keyboard unless you have a passion for gaming. So we're going to unbox this thing and uh, see what we got. Not a good <laughs> sign so far, it's like rattling on the inside, but let's see, maybe the InPet has something that will actually surprise us. Um, keep in mind, uh, when we're testing these keyboards, you might wanna look at the Amazon reviews also, because we're not gonna be able to test long-term uh, durability, because there's a good chance that these keyboards may not last very long, because they're super cheap. Um, but I guess that rattling inside was just the loose cable. I'm not seeing anything else. Um, we do have some uh, promotional material right here. 20% off, save your money, best offer, who we are. <laughs> InPet is committed to providing each customer with a high standard of customer service. For companies, email, and other details, contact us here. 
There you go, they got a whole range of stuff. InPet is just rocking it on Amazon. But what we're gonna do is look at the keyboard because that's the most important part. So it looks very similar to the keyboard we just looked at. Um, same 10 keyless design, uh, probably the same RGB backlighting, nothing special about the cable, just kind of a basic cable. Um, but you know, we gotta hear what it sounds like real quick. It actually sounds a little bit better than the other one. I think it might be trying to go for a mimchanical kind of feel. Um, still not great, not great at all. Um, but it's, yeah, still very membrane. Uh, let's see if the RGB is anything to write home about or if it blows up my laptop because that is a very real possibility if I find my USB port. And boom, it is kind of the same thing. The Ooh. same gradient design. Um, I don't see any controls on here to change the lighting mode, so I'm assuming it's probably this or a solid color. Um, nothing too special, so let me see. Can I actually change the brightness? Yeah, I can change the brightness. Oh, there are actually modes. Wait, was that? Oh, there's just Whoa. different gradient modes. Uh, but yeah, nothing really special. Brightness is maxed out. It is pretty dim in this bright room, so keep that in mind. It's not really that good. The branding is not horrible. Um, there's actually flip out feet on this keyboard, so you can actually raise this and uh, type away raise if you want to. Roof. Raise the roof. Uh, but overall, the InPet isn't horrible. Uh, feels better than a normal membrane keyboard, um, but you know, it's, eh, it's all right. So here we have the ultimate of gaming keyboards. This is the M100 Magic or Minigig key Gaming Keyboard. I can't even read, but uh, the game is equipped with, that's it. It's, I, we gotta go to the back, I guess. But so there's, there's uh, some kind of funny stuff back here. So the colors are adjustable, of course. We have multimedia keys uh, to adjust media player and its volume, waterproof and durable, what? Uh, with waterproof structure of keyboard, liquid will outflow easily. The quality of the silica gel buttons are very good. They are more than 10 million lot times of service life. The foot pads are adjustable to get the most suitable height you need. I'm kind of curious about that too. Um, yeah, let's let's just go ahead and open this up. That's pretty much um, what you guys get from the outside of the box there. Not terrible, you know? I mean, they didn't try to say it's mechanical. They said that it has a nice gel feel to it, which I've never heard anyone say about a membrane keyboard that has a nice jelly feel to it, but you know. So right off the bat, you know, it's not quite as um, epic as it looks in the picture, but you know, it's it's a keyboard. It's really big. Like it's very oversized. I will say that, that um, this keyboard is not for you if you like a bare minimum design. This is like over the top kind of, but let's go. Oh yeah. It's very, it's very you know, cameraman, press this, press this key, press it. Oh, I think it's the most membrane one we've felt so far. So, yeah, I mean, honestly, though, it has a lot of, like, multimedia keys up top that I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't work at all. Um, but it claims that they're, like, programmable and everything, so we'll try to find out about that. But the back, so we have adjustable foot height, which it's not. It's just one or the other. I guess that's adjustable. You have, you have two modes of function. Um, look at the back of this. It's all rigid. But anyways, we'll go ahead and plug it in. Supposedly, this is only like one color, I think. It's just red. Just like this keyboard right here, I guess. It might match. Oh yeah, it matches, look at that. Well, that's so, very underwhelming. <laughs> has a nice magma look to it, and it looks like, I'm only seeing like this part here glow and this part here, and like none of the other like veins, as I would call them, are really, I, they kind of do glow, but you have to put like a shadow over them. Like they're, they're very dim and yeah, um, I mean, caps locks work, so that's that's great. But overall, though, the feel of this keyboard, I would say this is the most membrane one out of the three that we've already tested. Like, it's very, and you guys can probably hear, like, it, it, it doesn't even feel, it almost feels like a linear click to it, which is weird. It doesn't even have, like, a tactile feedback to it, so. Rubber domes for the win. It is a uh, water typing. Oh my goodness, it just, <laughs> it's still working, sorta. Hello, this is a typing test. It still feels horrible, but right. I guess the, the idea. <laughs> there's, there's the, there's the, the drain hole, hole. talking about. There's the drain hole, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the drain hole. There it is. What? 
Now, next up, we have the Dare You, um, I dare you to buy this keyboard, uh, LK1357 color backlit keyboard. So I'm assuming there's no RGB on this and there's probably just different colors you can choose. Um, but this is one of the nicer boxes that we've had. Um, around the back, it does say that this is a semi-mechanical gaming keyboard with professional mechanical, mechanical feeling backlight gaming uh, for gaming in office, not the real mechanical keyboard, but it worth more. Just not the real mechanical keyboard, but it worth more. So, you know, it's this, more expensive. It, it's more expensive. Um, ABS engineering plastics. This keyboard is impact resistant and water resistant and no fade. No fade whatsoever. We're probably gonna have to test these two waterproof keyboards at the end of this them under the water. We'll test them in the bathroom real quick. Uh, but it's splash proof and 10 million times keystroke test and lifespan durability. Okay, well, enough about the back of the keyboard. Let's just open this thing up and see how semi mechanical this thing is. Um, packaging is about the same as all the other keyboards. Uh, this same cabling too. The cables have been the cheapest thing I've noticed about these keyboards. Uh, no braiding or anything, which is fine, but you know, kind of bad at the same time. Um, and here we go. Here's the keyboard. Um, I just heard some clicks, so I'm wondering uh -oh. what the heck this is gonna be. Uh, this is the keyboard right here, and let's just hear what it sounds like. Mm. It like tries to be a Cherry MX Blue, but it isn't. It's like a, if you took a Cherry MX Blue and you- uh, Put a rubber dome over it. Yeah, kinda, like a full rubber dome over it. Yeah, it's, it, it's the clicky's there. It's kinda. there, it's there kinda. It doesn't feel good. It feels like a membrane keyboard, but it does feel better than the other ones that I've tested uh, so far. Um, I don't know, I mean, it's not horrible. So let's go ahead and plug this up. I think we found Matt a new keyboard for the office. I think this is the new keyboard, this is the one. So let's plug it up and see what kind of backlighting we get. Oh, here it goes. So first up, we're at orange, which this says you can adjust the backlight. Let me see if I can figure out how to so do that. on like a pulse mode. Oh, oh, it's actually- Oh, there we go. <coughs> changing colors. So it's actually gonna pulsate. Um, I'm not seeing any color changing key, um, which may mean that it just does this. Like this may be all it does, which is kind of disappointing, but Honestly, a little bit better. We're getting some motion compared to the other keyboards we had that have like zero motion whatsoever. It's just like one solid backlight. Um, but it's okay. It's not the greatest thing in the world. It does feel like a semi-mechanical keyboard, which we have tested in the past. Um, is it gonna be something that a mechanical keyboard enthusiast is gonna enjoy? Absolutely not. But you know, this may be something to consider. Um, I don't know, durability, not the best. Uh, feet, it has feet and some anti-slick pads. So this thing isn't gonna really go anywhere super easily on your desk. Um, but yeah, overall, this one's not the worst of them all. Um, but I think you're gonna be very excited to see this next one because it actually claims to be a mechanical keyboard. So let's check that one out. All right, guys. So for the alpha of all of these keyboards, we have the Akifa, Asifa, I don't even know how to say it, but the KM07U. This actually sounds like a real brand name at this point, but mechanical keyboard yes you said it mechanical keyboard actually i said it but they actually show some blue switches there and it looks like there's some really basic like box switches but blue switches apparently and interestingly enough in the back here we have unique crack surface blah blah, blah. Uh, it's more fashionable and hot plug mechanical switch optional easy to change all keys non-conflict meet the demand of different games so yeah, I, yeah, there's a whole lot of just really busted English on this, but uh, you know, I, I don't know. They actually show on the back here mechanical switch with options like cherry, kale, and automated switches. So, and they even have like the different types of switches. So, how much was this again? Twenty bucks? Sixteen ninety nine? Sixteen ninety nine, if I remember right. I'm just confused on what's going on right now because if this is like, if these are legit mechanical switches, even if they're the cheap, you know, kale or automu. Compared to the cherries, this is still like insane and shouldn't be real, but you know, things like that happen. So opening the box, we have a very similar to all the other boxes and you know, it, it, it does the job. And this one actually, oh my God, it has a really thick braided keyboard with pass-through <laughs> cables. <laughs> so we have pass-through audio and oh my God, we have extra switches, a keycap puller. I might be wrong about life right now because I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> is this is this the new thing? We're no longer spending $100 on a mechanical keyboard? 
because now you have this apparently. So I'm, I'm just gonna click one. Oh <laughs> my God, it actually feels like a blue. <laughs> Okay, I, I don't know what to, th okay, well, I'm gonna open one of these up for you guys. So, I'm not a keyboard expert. I'm sure Zach would know exactly what these are. I know that they're definitely not cherries, um, but I wouldn't be surprised if these are like kales. Um, but I mean, look, it has the whole entire mechanical assembly. Like, this is actually a legit mechanical switch, and it even has the stems on the end to actually plug it in or solder it. They said something about like hot swappable on the back in some sort of way, but there, there's no way. I mean, I'm gonna actually, give I'm it gonna, a shot. Maybe I do need this. Okay, I was like, I'm just gonna pull it. But yeah, I mean, yeah, this is actually in. this is the puller for these. So yeah, let's, uh, let's just see what happens here. I think we might have found the mother load here Get under there. Okay. No, oh, there it goes. So yeah, we do have the, looks like the same switch down in here. And I have not really pulled a key cap I think it's before. the other way. Is it the other way? Yeah, it's like, it'll like latch down. Oh, I see it. There's like, okay. I might end up breaking this keyboard in the process. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay, so I don't, I'm like lost for words right now. This doesn't look like a, it doesn't look like a true hot swappable key. Because normally the um, if you look down at the motherboard here, they usually will have like a spring mechanism to actually clamp down on these little leads. Um, but this doesn't appear to. But I mean, if it makes contact and works, I I guess it works. So hot swappable 1699 keyboard. Um, I I don't even know what to say right now. I'm gonna plug it in real quick. I don't even know. Looks like one's probably the pass through. Yeah, I don't I don't know. K and then this one has no labeling. So I'm gonna assume that this one's the keyboard. That's what K stands for, right? And it actually... Are you... What is it? It has full RGB I don't know backlighting. Matt just like <laughs> found some secret Amazon link, but we have a full RGB backlighting that changes. All of this like crackling magmas is lit up. I think we're going to go buy 30 of these keyboards for resale value. Um, we'll be right back. But yeah, I I'm like lost for words right now because this keyboard was incredibly Chinese. The back was like written incredibly Chinese, but the Chinese have pulled through and they have came in clutch because I, I don't know what they're doing, but something's working for them. If they can sell actual mechanical switches an actual mechanical keyboard, and just to put this in retrospect, we have four other keyboards over there and none of them were anything close to this. They were like, you know, a static color. They were super membrane. None of them had anything that even involved mechanical, except for like that one that was semi-mechanical and um, yeah, I, I don't even know what to say right now. Matt, do you have any, you have any input on this? I, I'm just very confused. <laughs> I, mean, I haven't even typed, what in, what the hell? Dude, like it's, they're like legit blue switches. It works, hold I on. mean, <laughs> it's typing, it's doing what it needs to do. I, I, I have no idea what to say. Um, Apisha, uh, sponsor us, please. Okay. <laughs> Apisha. <laughs> Apisha. <laughs> Wait, Asifa. 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 So, if you're going to ask us, what is the best keyboard for the price? It's definitely this one. It actually works. It types. The we have not tested the pass through, but we assume that it probably works. This this right here is kind of janky and weird, um, but I mean, it's a braided cable. It's super thick. It actually feels durable. The keyboard itself, it actually, pick up the keyboard real quick. It, it's it has heavy. some heft, dude. Like, it's actually a heavy keyboard too, so, yeah, I mean, honestly, I would hands down, like, without a doubt, say this one's easily the best keyboard. Um, the only thing is, I, I would be worried that this might not be the same price, or it might not be out by the time, like, this video is released, but we have proof that we paid $16.99 for it, and it is a real deal on Amazon. We'll have to go through some of the reviews to see, like, if maybe we're missing something, maybe some other people got those mechanic or those memcam keyboards instead, but we got a hot swappable like legitness keyboard, so yeah. Okay guys, well to say we're a little bit overwhelmed with this mechanical keyboard is definitely an understatement. This by far is the best keyboard out of this pile. Like this is definitely like mechanical switches for like $17, RGB backlighting, hot swapple, just, it's honestly insane. I know Jackson has a lot he could say about this thing. 
So after consulting our keyboard expert, Zach, which sadly couldn't be here with this video, but you know, next time we'll, we'll have him on for one of these, but uh, the switches alone are between like 30 to 40 bucks, it looks like for just a hundred. And we believe this is like 107 switch, but uh, no keyboard experts here. Um, and I don't feel like counting each individual key. Um, and also the actual hotswap PCB, Zach's said the cheapest one he's ever seen. And like, he's seen a lot of, you know, really cheap stuff because he looks for it. Uh, he said it was 30 bucks. So we're talking like around $60 worth of parts that mind blown at this point, because that's just for the plate and the actual switches. We're not talking about, you know, the, the casing, the actual keycaps, the braiding and cable and all that. Somehow though, this company has done it and you know, we're, we're just, we're kind of mind blown a little bit, but you know, it's actually awesome though that we were able to find something like this because this, as Matt said, is the gem of all cheap keyboards. Now do take these reviews with a grain of salt because the reviews will give you a better idea of how long these keyboards will actually last. We only tested them for like five minutes. So be sure to check the reviews using the link in the description down below. If you do want to buy this gym of a keyboard before it like price hikes, because I wouldn't be surprised if it does, uh, check the link in the description down below and use our Amazon link to help support us. Um, but overall, these keyboards were impressive, but this one was miles ahead better than the rest. So we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more random content like this. And we will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.